Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today I am talking about how data is being used in the golf industry. Now this past week I took my annual visit to the PGA Merchandise Show, which is basically where all of the new golf technology is released to golf industry professionals and eventually to the public. So this is very cool, it's very fun, it's like kind of CES, but for just specifically golf. While I was there, I saw some awesome products using data in, in very unique ways, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk about how data in general is being used in the golf industry. It might also be fun for me to talk about some of the potential opportunities for data to really impact golf further. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be alerted when I post new weekly content. So I'd like to start the conversation around data in golf with launch monitors. So launch monitors track the spin of the ball, the speed that it comes off the club face, the angle at which it leaves the club face, and the direction that it goes. And with this, it tells you almost exactly how far the ball travels and you can also extrapolate some insights about what the club face does through impact with the ball. So this has absolutely revolutionized how golf has been taught. It is probably, in my opinion, the biggest disruptor in golf in the last 10 years. The, the largest disruptor since they, they used uh, solid core balls, since they stopped you know, hitting the ball with, with wooden sticks and, then, and switched to, to metal composite. This has had such a big impact on the game because it's completely revolutionized how golf is taught. Now when you go get a lesson, there's a lot more precision in understanding what you're doing and what your swing is doing and what in your swing causes certain results with the ball. There's also really immediate feedback where you can see almost exactly what the problem areas are and you can start making those adjustments right away. So the first mover in this field is a company called TrackMan. They use radar technology to track all of these metrics associated with the ball. From this, they use a proprietary, I'm assuming it's a machine learning or AI algorithm that extrapolates what the club face is doing through the impact with the ball as well. So if we know what the club face is doing, we know what in the golf swing we can adjust to get it exactly where we want it. There's also a couple, or well, there's many competitors to this product. One is FlightScope, which I believe uses a similar radar technology, and there's also Foresight. So Foresight uses images to track the spin and the direction of the ball rather than radar, which means that it also gets images of the club face. So a lot of people believe that TrackMan has more accurate ball data, but Foresight actually has more accurate club data because it is taking pictures of the club rather than just extrapolating it with the data on the ball. Similar to these products are golf simulators. So golf simulators allow you to use real clubs, real balls, and play a virtual course indoors. This is a really neat technology, and I'd say that this is actually the technology that has made the most growth in the last couple of years. So the graphics have gotten better, the number of courses have gotten better, you know, the number that you can play, and They've also increased the accuracy of these machines. So Full Swing is a big one. I think True Golf is another simulator. There's, there's plenty out there. And the real biggest drawback here is that they're very expensive. You know, these cost in the neighborhood of 20 grand up to probably $100,000 to install in your home. Still, if you can find one that you get access to, they're great, especially if you live in a cold environment like myself in Chicago, where the golf season is very short. You can still stay kind of sharp and, and still enjoy golf in a normalized climate rather than in the 20 degree weather. One thing that is generally surprising to me is how few golf club manufacturers are actually leveraging data science and machine learning techniques. There's only been one job posting that I've seen in golf for a data science position and that was with Callaway. And Callaway is actually doing a lot to hype up how they are beginning to design club faces with this machine learning technology or with using AI, etc. So from my perspective, there's a huge opportunity for club manufacturers and ball manufacturers 
to leverage the data that they have. They can improve the performance of their tour players on staff. They can evaluate how well the, the club is fitting after the fact. Uh, they can also leverage this data to perhaps sell differently to the consumer market. You know, a driver that is customized using machine learning or something like that, for me, based on how I swing, or for one of my friends or my dad who, who swings very differently, could be an extremely, extremely valuable and practical product. I'm a big believer that the club companies that innovate on the data and machine learning side are going to leave the others behind. So a third way that the golf industry is leveraging technology is on the business side of golf. So without a doubt, each golf course is run like a business. There is a pro shop, there's a restaurant, and these different lines of business all have data associated with them. There are companies that are out there that are helping to benchmark this data. There's CRM systems that are helping you understand how your, your customers interact with your, your club. And there's also a bunch of different types of merchandising data and restaurant data that, that you can aggregate and collect to run your golf business more effectively. I think these business focused operational uses of data are going to be very important for golf going forward. I think golf in general is, is kind of on a little bit of, of a decline, it takes a long time, it's fairly expensive, and in order to make the experience really good for, for consumers of golf, they're going to have to figure out a way to reduce costs on the club side. So these products are going to do a great job of that. So I previously talked about companies that are tracking the ball in the club. There's another branch of golf technology that is specifically tracking what our bodies are doing. They're measuring the biomechanics. So there's one company called K-Vest that you, you basically wear a vest and it tracks every part of your body that's moving during the swing. These are also you know, revolutionizing how golf is taught. However, I think that they're lagging a little bit behind the launch monitor technology. When I wear one of these vests, it's a little restricting and it doesn't feel like I'm actually swinging the normal swing that I would, that I would have without it. And once they get over this kind of physical barrier, how do they measure this with a, as little intrusion into the golf swing as possible? I think that these are gonna be tremendously successful. I mean, they already are, but they'll have a, a huge increase in the amount of use. Again, these are also pretty expensive. So when the cost goes down a little bit on these, there's going to be a huge expansion in, in this technology. What I didn't see a lot of at the, at the PGA show was a conversation around sports betting, daily fantasy, fantasy sports around golf. I know that the PGA Tour is, has licensed their data to IMG. They've also been very forthcoming about how they are welcoming sports gambling into their industry. And I think that there's going to be a lot of new platforms, new technologies that are leveraging data to help people pick players to bet on, pick players to choose for their fantasy teams, or at least have a platform that will make people more informed about the decisions that they make when playing these games. There are already websites out there like Data Golf and I think it's Fantasy National that are offering some services like this but I would expect to see more of these on the horizon coming soon. As usual, I had a lot of fun at the PGA show. It's, it's always a cool experience to hit the new clubs and to, and to try out and see what new technologies are out there. I hope that this video was informative to you to understand what data science, what machine learning is like in a specific industry. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck.